How's everybody doing today? HK's Hogshine. If you don't know who we are, you're just checking this video out. HK's Hogshine, we're a wild game attractant and guided hog hunts company in Central Florida. My name is Ashley. Um, we're doing this video. We had somebody reach out to us on Instagram and tell us that they had decided to take up uh, hog hunting and asked us if we could tell them in our opinion, of course, what gear they should use because they've been watching our videos and decided that they wanted to try out hog hunting and asked if we could give them a little insight on what gear we use to help them get started. Um, first off, thanks for reaching out to us. We appreciate it. We hope that our videos do the same for other people as it did for this gentleman and get them involved in hunting because that's one of the things we're trying to do. So for that gentleman and anyone who else may be watching this thinking about getting into hog hunting, we're going to go over what gear we use for the setup we have right now. Bow, gun, hogs, deer, everything changes the gear that you use. We're going to show you the gear we use for our guided hunts, for when we're hunting ourselves, our normal go-to gear. And let's get started on that. So first off, the apparel. I've been hunting since I was 10 years old. When I was 10 years old, my dad put me in some camouflage. That camouflage was Blocker Outdoors. Right here. I've worn Blocker Outdoors and Scent Lock since. So, my 12 years of hunting, I've worn Blocker Outdoors and Scent Lock. I've had very good success with them. My dad has had very good success with them. Blocker Outdoors and Scent Lock are scent controlling clothing right now this is blocker outdoors this of course is scent locks logo wear they have camouflage as well i'm just wearing this because it's florida and it's about as lightweight as i could get away with um so for apparel you want to control your scent hogs deer i use it for both blocker scent lock works great in our opinion is what we use now for boots to each his own don't really have a likable boot. I kind of just wear whatever I got at the time. For the situation, definitely if you're in the south like we are, snake boots, snake chaps, whatever you have to have to protect yourself out there. I've seen the um, pygmy rattlesnakes in Georgia. They're big enough to put some fear in some of the toughest guys I know, so I suggest snake chaps. On the same related note, when you're hunting snakes, hogs, if you're hunting hogs, hogs can be dangerous. I've been charged. My dad's been charged. People we hunt with have been charged. It's not a good place to be in. It's a very dangerous place to be in. So when you're hunting hogs, especially like we do, and we have bows and arrows, we have crossbows, always carry a sidearm so you can protect yourself against a hog if it decides to charge you. If you're out tracking one that you've shot, if it decides it's going to take one last swing to take you out with it, have a sidearm. When we go on our guided hunts, every guide or filmer that is with you has a sidearm. Our go-to sidearm are Glocks. We've used Glocks. Hmm, now empty. We've used Glocks from the beginning. Mine's a 9mm. My dad carries a 45, my sister carries a 40. Guys we hunt with, they carry Glocks. They carry from 40 to 45. I personally carry the 9. Not as big of a bullet, but I'm deadly with it. I have shot a hog that charged me before with it and dropped her. Now, on to the hunting gear. Main thing that you need to hunt with is a bow, a weapon of some kind. What we use on our guided hunt, and we stand behind, it's a barnet crossbow. We've had this barnet crossbow from the beginning. It's been on our guided hunts. We have another one now. This is a barnet rafter. This is our personal crossbow. We started out with guided hunts on it, but we have changed to another one. So this is our personal crossbow. Now, if you're a follower of Hogshine, HK's Hogshine, in our videos, a while back we had a video with this crossbow me and another member of the crew, David, were out hunting. The crossbow exploded. That's a video on there. It was a bad situation. 
but it happens with every crossbow. We still stand behind Barnett. We still love Barnett. We still choose Barnett over any other crossbow that we've ever shot. We got it fixed, we got it repaired, and we still shoot it. We went out two days later after it came back from the archery shop, we shot it again. Um, that video is one to watch if you want to watch it. It's on our YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the description to that video. So we use Barnett, the Barnett Raptor FX. This is our personal crossbow. This is what we use for our guided hunts. Now, we use night vision. This is a night vision scope made by Sightmark. Sightmark is another company we've used from the beginning. We stand, we love Sightmark. We love using their products. Their products work great. Again, all of this stuff is in our opinion, but we've had very good success with Sightmark as well as we have Barnett. This scope, we've had it for years. It's never failed us. It stayed on site. We've had to tweak it here and there over seven, eight years that we've had it, but it stays on. You press a button, open this up, you have night vision. Not many people use night vision on a crossbow. It's a setup that my dad came up with. We've used it for years. You can also use it in the daylight. Just make sure you keep the cap on because if not, you'll ruin the scope. So this is what we use, Barnett Raptor, Sightmark night vision scope as our choice weapon when we're crossbow hunting hogs. Now we do hunt with different weapons, regular bows, guns, same things, but this is our guided hunt setup, our go-to setup. So this is what I'm showing you today. All of this stuff, I will leave links to where you can purchase it for the gentleman who asked the video down below and anyone else who might be watching. Now with the crossbow, stay. Gotta have bolts. These are the bolts we use. They're called Carbon Express Pile Drivers. We've had very good success with them. They work very well with this R bow and they stay sighted in for us. This is what this bow is known to shoot for and they're accurate. So you can get these at Bass Pro, Amazon. I'll leave them down below. Now, for broadheads, We use Rage. We've always tried to find a mechanical broadhead that worked for us, that was reliable, that everyone liked to use, and we use Rage. This is the one that we've chosen to stick with. We've put from 30 pound, 40 pound hogs down to, I shot a 350 pound boar hog, and it put him down within 50 yards. So they're accurate. They will leave a blood trail that is easy to follow. If you hit them in the right spot with this broadhead, you're going to find them. That's what we use. We also have lighted up knocks on here. I don't know what that company is, but I will look it up and leave it down below. Something else that we use is we use the Primo's trigger stick. This is so we can carry it through the woods. It goes up and down very easily. We use this as stabilization for ourselves and people that hunt with us, young, younger kids, people that can't hold the crossbow up um, and make a steady shot. We use this. I like the trigger. This one's mine. This one is my personal one. It does not leave me. We have one for the guided people that we use. This one is my personal one. Um, let's see. When you're hunting hogs, you gotta bait them up. Of course, we have our own wild game attractant company. So we use, of course, our own products. I grabbed the two that we have right now for hogs. That is the HK's Hog Shine Dry Mix and Mineral and our original product, HK's Hog Shine Liquid. These are what we use faithfully. We use them ourselves. We use them when we're on our guided hunts. And we have a lot of other people who stand by the product, stand with them, and it works great. We use those, we put them out, and over dry regular corn, put them out. If you want those products, of course, there are products, reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll hook y'all up with those, or leave a comment and we'll hook y'all up with those attractants to try. We also have, along with the attractants, 
um, a couple logo apparel. I just grabbed the first one that I've seen in my room. This is RHK's Hogshine hoodie. If you're interested in some of this, we have hoodies, shirts, and hats. Reach out to us. We'll get those to you as well. And the apparel. The uh, attract. Now, when you're hunting, a lot of times you need to watch across the field. So what we use for optics, we use Bushnell. For our binoculars, range finders, we use Bushnell. Everything along those lines, we like Bushnell. Um, these specific Bushnell have been through several hunts and um, 3D shoots, so they look a little rough, but they still work. Of course, you're hunting them anywhere, thermosel, given. In Florida swamps, especially now, it's the middle of August, beginning of August actually. You will not make it through a night hunt without a thermosel. I've tried, doesn't work. Um, when you're setting up for your hunts, the best thing you can do is prepare, get the trails cut, get the trail cameras up, and for those, the products that we've found and come to rely on, I don't have a trail camera with me because we're all out in the woods, but we use the Browning trail cameras. You can get them from the Browning site, you can get them from any sporting goods store. We normally go to our local Bass Pro and order them or we order them straight from the website. So that's what we use as trail cameras. They're reliable, they work good for us. But when it comes to cutting the trails, we use the easy cut saws. They have hand saws, pole saws, lobbers. They work fast, they work good, they get the job done quick and you can get back to hunting. So we use the easy cut saws to clear our trails. Um, when you're hunting, always carry a flashlight. This flashlight was recently sent to us by a gentleman. They're available on Amazon. I will leave the link to them down below. They're small. Throw them in your pocket. Really easy. You can also attach them to a gun. This one I had taken off because we were using it to trail. You can't really see it now, but they're very bright. They work really well and they're small. The battery lasts for a lengthy amount of time. So I'll leave a link to his lights down below as well. Now, final step of hunting hawks. The part that not many people enjoy. I'm one of those people that don't enjoy it very much. Thankfully I have people that help me out with it and most of the time do it for me and I hold the light. And that is skinning and quartering, field dressing your game. Outdoor edge, the knife of our choice. We don't go to the woods without it. We've got multiple ones. This is my dad. We use these knives. Deer, hog. We love them. This is our go-to knife. So, that is the products that we use when we are crossbow hunting hogs. All of these companies, Blocker, Barnett, all of these companies, we don't have any sponsors, okay? That attraction is our sponsor. They don't sponsor this video. There's no sponsors for this video. So all of this is our honest opinion. We're not getting paid to any say any of it. This is our honest opinion of what products of we've used of Ride Variety. These are the ones that we keep coming back to. So these are the ones that we're pushing forward, but they're not sponsored. So this is truthfully the equipment that we like and we like to use. One that I forgot is actually the one that I'm sitting on. This little Polaris Ranger has pulled out of many a hog, pulled out of many a deer. It's saved my, me and my crew and many a nights from walking. And it's reliable. Polaris makes them good. Um, as long as you do the upkeep, they'll keep going. We got a winch on the front that helps us pull the hogs out, and it's a good, good thing to have. Just what we found, especially with hunting hogs, is park away from where you're hunting and walk, because they get used to hearing this. Like where we hunt the hogs, they hear this, they know we're coming, 
they leave. Once they think we've left, then they come back. But if you just park away and you walk a little bit, get a little exercise, be like, we stand behind our attractant 100%, so we hope you'll give it a shot to try and get up and running. We've got a deer product as well. If you're interested in information on the deer product, it's HK's Deer Shine. Follow us, hit us up on Facebook or Instagram or in the comments, and we'll tell you more about it. We've had good success with all of them, so we hope you'll give them a shot and try them out. To the gentleman that reached out to us on Instagram, we hope that we answered all of your questions. If we did not, reach out to us again. We're glad to help and maybe different. But this is our normal setup. This is our guided hog hunt setup, um, which is what the gentleman was asking for what we use when we're crossbow hunting. Um, we thank him for reaching out to us. We hope this helped him any other people that may be thinking about getting involved in hunting. Our attractants, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave it all below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. We've got quite a few people watching our YouTube channel. 87% um, of those people are unsubscribed, so please subscribe to our channel. Um, all of this stuff will be linked below. And this is again all in our opinion, which is what we were asked for, was our opinion on what gear to use. So if you've got other gear that you like better than this, that's great. This is just our opinion. So we hope you liked the video. We hope it helped you out. We hope you enjoy getting into hog hunting or whatever hunting you're getting into. And thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.